Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to CCXRC. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look back at the Suzuki Jimny by FMS. This thing came out probably about a year ago, but the reason we're talking about it today is this is about to go on a huge, huge sale. So you wanna check the links down in the description below. We'll have a few different links on where you can get this, but they're gonna drop this thing quite low and you're gonna to wanna to check out that price because it's gonna blow your mind, I think. So it's a really, really cool rig, like something you'd see at USTE. Comes in these cool carrying cases. I don't have the outer shell for it anymore, but I keep those cases in order to store them in, like you see it here. Here it is out of the box. Few things that we need to get set before we take it out and run it if we wanna use this. You just need to clip the dash in. There's three little clips that will clip over the dash here. Kind of lock it in place like so. I take this roll bar. I don't screw it in because it does not fit in the box when I'm done with it screwed in. So I leave it unscrewed and I'll just place it in here. If I want that look, you could drive it without it. There's little D-shaped notches. I just kind of push it in there and call that good enough. I don't take this anywhere really, really tough. Um, as far as terrain, you'll see the tires just have a few little scuffs on them. Uh, we will show you it doing a little rock crawling today, but you'll see it gets bound up quite easily. But we'll take this out, uh, put a figure in, I've got the uh, Rock Hobby uh, Jeep up there, so we'll take that out there. Uh, take the driver out of that, put him in here, just so we can have a little scale driver. Looks that much cooler when you put somebody in it. Even though it's a US military guy, it'll work. But anyway, I wanna show you guys again what all comes with this and just some of the specs on it and why it's so cool and why it's going to be such a great deal for those of you that do choose to get one of these if you are the scale kind of guy and you love scale details this comes with a lot of them and at one six scale it's a pretty pretty great deal now one six scale for this is uh close to a one tenth scale or a one uh, eighth scale kind of crawler it's definitely a smaller 1.6 scale. This does not compare to the SCX6 because you scale down a small Jimny and it's this size. You scale down a big Jeep and it's much bigger. So anyway, let's look at this. Alrighty, so here it is. Taking just a quick look at it. We're gonna go ahead and look at the underside and the tires here. Um, pretty good compound of rubber. They do definitely have some grip to them. A little bit of stick. It feels like there's a foam in there. I have never taken them off, so I don't know. But you see very kind of scale look to it. You see a little bit of scuffing that I've done when I have taken it off rock crawling uh, on the, the bottom here. Not a whole lot. I usually keep it to lighter trails. But um, when you do hang up, there's a lot of things to hang up on. The, um, the suspension is one of them. <laughs> that is for sure. These leaf springs and the shackles on the front I tend to hang up on quite a few things. It's not something I'm normally thinking about or looking for, uh, but there is a mod where people take this and they shift them up to the top. So RC Voodoo has a great video showing you exactly how to do that. RC Review has a great run video showing one with big tires put on it and uh, what you can do with this after you do mods like that. But it does have you know a C-channel metal chassis on here and it has a transfer case in here the motor and everything is up top and very straight line for your plastic drive shafts that do have metal ends to them plastic suspension or plastic uh, axles you do have metal um, leaf springs here the shackles themselves are plastic uh, but again this thing for the most part is such a just cool looking rig and uh, soft seats in here. It looks like my handbrake's been knocked off of there. But lots of scale details. We'll put a battery in here, show you more. It does have a removable tire. They do actually recommend uh, removing this if you are worried about potentially damaging it. It is fragile. It does say that in the directions, I recall. That's just something that's memorable for me. And I actually think uh, Make It RC, when he got his, it actually had a broken piece and he 3D printed a new one on there. But it is a removable piece. You can take this off if you're worried about breaking that. So you got the little 
safety bar here. It is movable and it actually will make it easier for us to put our driver in, I believe, if we do it this way. So, handbrake, in my opinion, should be forward. Makes the most sense that way. So I'll just reinstall that. I probably can put a little dab of glue on there if you don't want it coming out. But we'll uh, let's go ahead and we'll grab our radio. I'm just gonna power it on. I slipped in a few batteries here when I was getting everything ready. In and under the hood, got a Hobby Wing 1040 brush crawler ESC in here. It does only do crawler mode, and the drag brake is quite um stoppy we'll just say we'll say that it stops too quickly and there's a lot of drag brake applied so um servo mounts up front everything you need to get to is very easy to access right here these two light buckets here are always on so that's something that you just um deal with i thought that one of the buttons would have turned it off but we learned quickly that it does not um, lots of other places you could put lights in here side markers here and here and you got them in the back a bunch of them so you could if you wanted to go all out i'm not much of a light guy you know that i'm okay with it since they come running but um, it does play with focus and things like that again these do not come installed they're very easy to put together and i for the sake of being able to remove them if i'm going on crazy trails um, i just leave them so i can pull them out put them in my pocket or whatever. I don't want to go breaking it if I think I'm going to tumble. So I leave those ready to, to be removed. So that's kind of a quick once over of it. Um, the bumpers, this front one gets hung up on a lot, but overall, I mean, the scale detail, the little Jimny insignia right there on the top, the metal hinges up here look really good. So yeah, if you haven't seen those details, so I just run a shorty spectrum pack in here it's ec3 but if you know what you're doing ec3 and xt60 can go together this is an ic3 actually on this one just takes a little coercion and you'll see boom lights just kicked on this latch is down nice and solid too that's another cool thing uh, let's get a quick shot of this too with the steering wheel this is one of my favorite things, that it comes like this out of the box. This is definitely an upgraded feature. So much faster on that than at the wheels, but most people don't notice that when you're driving. One other thing that was just making me think of um, is there is a slipper down in here off of this drive shaft. So you do have a slipper on there to just protect the drive line a little bit. The motor up in there is a 35 turn motor. Overall, it's a pretty, pretty decent truck for just out of the box like it is, especially at the sale that they're gonna bring it down to. It's kind of a no brainer um, if you like crawling and old scale stuff like this. Take it out on the trail for you guys, get some cool run footage of it. Little windshield wipers details on the front there. And uh, it's just a really, really nice looking RC. To the trail. All right, we're rolling in here to my little crawling section in the backyard, and I'm gonna let the audio just kind of drop out and let you listen to this thing work. You'll see it gets hung up quite a bit. It is not built for this type of crawling out of the box. You're better off on trails with small roots and stacked rocks and things like that, more of a groomed trail than this little rock course. Now this is built for 124 scale, so the gaps and stuff are a little different as well but you can see that it, it'll get hung up quite a bit in the, uh, the footage to come.
Also, there the camera was losing focus at times, and I'd have to stop it and refocus it manually, and then it would finally pick it up. So there's a couple cut spots because of that, or if I readjusted where I was, like here I was up close to the car, well, I wanted to get this shot a little wider to see it coming down, and so I tried to cut away some of the movement, but I left some of it there so you could see how the truck kind of falls down and actually gets into a kind of a realistic kind of scenario there, getting out of the uh, predicament it was in being hung up. So coming back here, things will get a little bit more difficult, and I actually get completely stuck and have to hand of God my way out of a couple of these here. Hand of God help there. A little bit of a hand of God. And we're still stuck. Up on the rocks. There we go. Let's see if we can't get him the rest of the way down here. All right, you guys, there you have it. The Suzuki Jimny 1.6 scale once again. And uh, these things are gonna be on a huge sale. Definitely check out the links in the description down below. Uh, unless you're gonna do some mod work like you've seen on RC Voodoo and RC Review to make these more of an off-road capable by uh, flipping the axles or the way that the suspension is on the axles, putting bigger tires on. Uh, the ground clearance is very low out of these, so it's an awesome scale truck as it comes out of the box. But if you want to be really off-road capable with this, you're definitely going to want to do some uh, modifications. It doesn't require a lot of money, just a little bit of time and work, and uh, you can make this a lot better than it is out of the box for if you want to go off-roading. But if you just want to do some cool scale trails like you'd see at USTE, this thing is pretty rad. We'll <laughs>